Yo, good morning. I think it is about that time, guys. It is time to finally stand up to hair mistreatment. And by that, I just mean I'm gonna start being nicer to my hair. In the span of two to three months, I have bleached my hair probably around seven times, and I haven't cut it in probably more than half a year. I actually don't know, it could have been even longer. But because I decided to deep fry my hair and make it turn into this color, it's slightly damaged. It totally doesn't feel like you're rolling on a big bale of hay, and typically when you go to a hair salon to bleach your hair, they usually give you a trim at the very end. Just because the driest and nastiest part of your hair is the end part, where it just feels like a scratchy makeup brush. Er, I'm just kidding. Oh god, I'm never gonna get sponsored now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's about that time where I finally give myself a trim. And this one hairstyle I wanted to do is called a wolf cut. Since I already bleached my hair and dyed it and colored it and did all that stuff myself, I might as well just continue that trend, right? I want to be a self-sufficient king. So from those TikTok tutorials, what you do is you put all of your hair in a ponytail first. Okay, this is gonna go terrible, I can already feel it. But this is what you want, right? For me to mess up and be bald. I, I, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you want me to make a fool of myself. Well, not today. I'm actually gonna probably do a good job. Um, actually, let me look at this TikTok tutorial quickly. <laughs> okay, so you put your hair in a big ponytail on the very top of your head first. Oh, great. Emma Chamberlain vibes. And then what you're supposed to do is take your scissors and you... Cut the very top, kind of about here, off, I think? <laughs> or is it more here? Or is it more here? For some reason, I thought my hand just automatically started cutting. Alright guys, here we go. Time to give myself a wolf cut. Results may vary. Don't try this at home. Hey, so I'm editing the video right now, and the last 30 seconds gave me the rankest anxiety. And thank god at this moment, I realized that this is probably a mistake. Thank you to whatever common sense I had left in my brain. I should probably go to a professional to help me, because I need a lot of help. And to help I went. I also wasn't sure how familiar my hairdresser would be with giving me a wolf cut, because I don't think her clientele usually asks for that type of haircut. But I did offer some reference photos and just thought if she could make me look like 50% of how these people look, then I think that'd be good enough, hopefully. Find out in the next few minutes. I know Jin's hair isn't technically a wolf cut, but just as long as it has a similar vibe. I'm gonna have to explain this to my hairdresser. I'll just be like, I don't know, I think I fell down or something. <laughs> After I finished getting my hair cut, I really wasn't sure what to think. I remember someone saying that if you do not style your wolf cut, it will actually look terrible. And in terms of styling my hair, I am very low maintenance and kind of lazy. And the last thing I want to do is spend an hour every single day styling my hair. I would rather listen to music from NCT Hollywood or Ollie London. So after I realized that, and after I finished getting my hair cut, I just sat there in silence while thinking about a thousand things per second. I'm sure it'll be fine, is what I thought in that moment. Who cares if I look like a middle-aged suburban white mom? What does it matter if someone accidentally calls me ma'am instead of sir? It's all in my head. As long as I can rock this hairstyle with confidence, then everything will be fine. And by fine, I mean... I look like Karen 3000. The volume. What? Hey, so it has been a week of me having this uh, apparently what is a wolf cut haircut and uh let me tell you i've been i've been struggling i realized that i don't have the skills to make my hair look like all these pictures on instagram and tiktok no matter how much i try i always end up looking like a asian princess diana or a karen there's literally no in between this happens all the time every time i get a haircut it looks great for the first day or two and then once my hair gets a taste of water, it decides, you know what, I'm just gonna look terrible for the rest of the time that I am alive. So I took it upon myself to learn from this cool looking samurai dude and try my best to follow what he is doing uh, to the best of my abilities. I don't know, for some reason, I would put my life in this man's hands. Nothing says I'm trustworthy than being a Japanese man with a bunch of tattoos. But let me, let me put this heat protectant hair mending spray on so my hair doesn't snap off in the middle of styling. Ugh. That was a great speed run of a shower. Alright, I'm supposed to blow dry my hair forward and backwards while doing a handstand and on the moon, so let me try. 
After taking way more time to blow dry my hair than I thought it would, this was the expectation, and here is my reality. Okay, so we should have something like this, where the top is light and fluffy, and the side... Hmm. His hair didn't look like this, but at the same time, his hair definitely wasn't bleached, uh, seven times. The next step is to section off your hair with clips, and here's how that went. Oh my god. I broke my one out of two clips. Okay, after that we curl the bottom. It's just kind of like that, you know that girl from Wendy's? That red one? Kind of like her hair where it just is a little floop. Okay, while I'm doing this, I think there's a high possibility that I will mess up or bird my neck if I talk and do it at the same time. So give me two seconds so I can focus because my brain can multitask. Cool, we have that um, tail thing. The next step is to take the hair on the side and curl it backwards. Backwards? It seems a little bit too advanced for my skills. <laughs> All right, time to try round two. I can't tell if this looks the same or worse. No, wait, I think there's some curl to it. Oh man, I don't know. My hair's still kind of wet. So maybe that's why it kind of looks heavy and weighed down. Let me finish my bangs and then we'll talk. Well, my samurai friend said that the front part, the bangs, are the most important part to make that wolf cut. And uh... So when the guy combed the hair down, it was going straight. Why is mine crooked? Okay, it doesn't seem like my hair wants to be straight, but well, it is Pride Month. Okay, I am really praying for the best after I finish curling this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Why do you gotta be such a sussy bucka? That's it, I'm shaving my head. Okay, if I spread it out, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Damn guys, I look 8 and also 50 at the same time. I look like I could be one of those alt Gen Z kids or one of those people from the 1900s. Or maybe the 70s or 80s, I don't even know. Oh my god, do you know who I look like? This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Maybe it doesn't look that bad? One step that I was missing was putting a little bit of wax in my hair. So maybe that'll help it. Who knows? Oh god, my eyes. My hair also looks like string cheese. And I do love cheese, but not as my hair. So what I saw that guy do is take the wax and just violently scrunch up the hair. Uh, I can't tell if I'm making it worse. Is this what the end goal is? What? I forgot what the hair looked like. Okay, I think I have finished the hairstyle. Um, I'll show you the full picture in a little bit. It's just that I'm not sure how to feel. The end results kind of make me look like, you know those cute fat babies that fly around naked? I think they're called cherubs. It kind of gives off that vibe, and I don't know if that's the look I was going for. I also realized that I have to change my clothes, and that involves me uh, taking off my shirt and pulling it over my head, so my hair might get ruined. Find out if it does or not after this commercial break. This was kind of a spur of the moment thing, but ever since I changed my hair, I forgot how to act. And I still had some temporary tattoos lying around, and I was just thinking, what better time to use them than now? A tattooed cherub, perfect for the summertime. Oh, this is gonna be really wrinkly. Oh, actually, not bad. You know, for temporary tattoos that I got off Amazon, they actually last a lot longer than I thought they would. One time, I actually had to go to my parents' house after I had these on. And let me tell you, I was scrubbing my arm like it was a potato. And these tattoos don't budge that much for something that was temporary. So yeah, if you want to be a rebel and defy your parents, get these. But um, be warned, you might get your ass kicked. I also thought now would be a great time to repaint my nails and try out this white color. I've only ever had black nails, so I thought white would be kind of spicy, I guess, even though that's probably very basic. Sorry, I'm still not at the level of those BBL girlies with their 10-inch gel nails. Ooh, I need help. I am messing up so bad. Uh, Miss, Miss Simply Nail Logical, from one fellow Canadian to another, I just... I just need a hand. Maybe I should buy her nail polish. Maybe that's the problem. I keep painting outside the lines. Just like my art, it is very shaky and scary. I've had this hair for about three hours now, so it's a little bit deflated. And I don't know, it looks right, but wrong at the same time. You know what I mean? I think the bangs need to be sweeped back more and not so much like, um... You know what I mean? I don't know, I really tried my hardest to not look like that. <laughs> but overall, I think it looks a lot better than before. It looks healthier and a lot lighter. It looks like I have more hair now, even though I technically have less. At this point, I don't even know how I still have hair on my head. 
Like I said, the more I bleach it, maybe the more, I don't know, tolerant my hair is becoming to the bleach. Maybe it has like plus five immunity. Oh, you know what? I was wearing this shirt yesterday with sunglasses and my friend told me I looked like a Yakuza. Uh, did someone call for a Yakuza? <laughs> oh, just, just wait a second. Dame dame, dame yo, dame dano yo. <laughs> With the tattoo. <laughs> okay, wait, I was wearing it like this last time. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, last time I didn't have a wolf cut. Maybe, do I look like Yakuza or do I look more like a dad on vacation? Or maybe a little bit of both. Who says that Yakuza can't be a father as well? Well, time to go live my new life with my 10 different personalities. And hey, if you want to feed my 10 different personalities some food, you can give this video a like and a comment for that hungry YouTube algorithm. Well, take care, don't be dumb, and I will see you in the next video. Oh my god, I looked unhinged.